Howdy, I'm Whiplash141 one one, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own guided missiles. Using my script, you'll be able to make missiles that function similarly to those used in my Komodo guided missile destroyer. Here in this cutout, you can see all the necessary components needed to make this missile function properly. So now I'm going to go ahead and build a missile from scratch. The first things we're going to need are a program block, a timer, a remote control, and a gyroscope. Where you put the program block and the timer on the missile isn't really that important. The orientation of the remote control is pretty important. You want this face to point in the direction that you want the missile to travel. The positioning of the gyro is also pretty important as you want this little circly thing up top to be pointing in the direction of travel as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a battery and a merge block to the rear of this missile. Um, you can place them wherever you want, I'm just putting them here for convenience sake as this is a really quick build. Now we need to add some side thrusters because we want to be able to dampen any lateral movement that we might get whenever we are trying to make course corrections. Uh, you can put as many of these on your missile as you want. Um, I'm just going to put one on each side for now. Now the last thing we're going to need is a forward thruster. You can use a small or a large, but I prefer a large thruster for this purpose. Now entering the terminal, we're going to need to rename a bunch of these blocks so that the program can recognize what it needs to do. First, we're going to need to rename the battery to missile battery, like so. Next, we're going to move to the gyroscope and add the tag control1 in brackets. If you remember, we placed the large thruster so that it would be our main propulsion, so we're going to rename this thruster to main thruster. Moving on to the merge, we're going to name the merge Missile Merge. The name of our program block and our timer are not important. Next, we need to add the tag Missile1 in brackets onto the name of our remote control block. If you recall, these small thrusters were going to be our side thrusters, so we're going to go ahead and name each one of them to a side thruster, like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this name because I don't feel like typing it three more times. So yeah, all our names are sorted. Now we need to go into the programming block and add my missile guidance script into it. Uh, you can do it by the workshop. I'm going to go ahead and copy it from Notepad++ and have it open beside me. At the top of the script you can find what you need to rename your blocks to if you don't feel like remembering it off the top of your head. So now let's just save and exit and we're good to go. Now that our missile is done, we're going to need a ship to shoot it with. The only requirements are that we have a merge block and a remote control block. I'm going to go ahead and add a camera onto this thing to make long range targeting a lot easier. So let's go ahead and hop in and get the last bit of naming done. We're going to go into the terminal and find the remote control and we're going to add the tag shooter in brackets to the name. Now our shooting ship is good to go. Now all that's left to do is to stick the missile onto the shooting ship, so I'm just going to go ahead and control C, control V, copy paste that onto there. Now all that's left to do is to set up the toolbar for easy firing, so we're going to grab the timer and set it to trigger now, we're going to grab the camera and set it to view so that we can aim at our target a lot better. Set up around 900 meters away from us is this evil block of armor. Five layers thick of light armor. So let's uh, let's teach this block a lesson. To make my missile actually do some damage, I'm going to go ahead and add some heavy armor to it. 
Uh, this won't change how the thing works. It, it will just give you more mass and thus more penetrative energy when you hit a target. I'm going to make a copy of this off to the side so I can fire it again later. Alright, now let's hop in and let's do some damage. Alright, now I'm going to turn off my HUD and I'm going to hit 1 to trigger a fire timer. There it goes. And as you can see, wherever I look, it will follow. And impact. That is actually a bigger hole than I expected. Let's go over there and inspect real quick. Well, yeah, that's uh, five full layers of light armor penetration with just a crappy torpedo that I built in a few minutes. Uh, so you can imagine that a torpedo that you spend time building could do a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and take this copy, and I'm going to show you the tracking capability of this thing. I'm going to go ahead and turn to the right. You can see it's trying to line up with my vector. And... Now that it's behind me, let's go ahead and turn around real quick and aim where I want it to hit. Now let's go over to the target, try and find the missile. I cannot see it yet. Oh, there we are. And here we go. Looks like it's pretty accurate, and yeah, there. Direct hit, another five layers of penetration. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I can't wait to see what kind of designs you guys come up with.